Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. A few months ago, I had the pleasure of talking with the author of the book entitled Confessions of a Catholic School Dropout. Now, this hilarious author is at it again. She's just released her latest book entitled Fat Chance. She'll give us all the details this morning. Patty, thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you for having me. Patty, the last time you were on the show, I had so much fun talking with you about your book, Confessions of a Catholic School Dropout, and you got such great response from this book. I really did. I'm really pleased with the response. Um, in fact, readers really liked one character so much. Her name was Elizabeth that I got emails and face-to-face -face conversations about people asking me more about, they wanted to know more about her. Mm -hmm. And Elizabeth was a very short-tempered, loud woman with a thick Irish brogue, and she was <laughs> just larger than life, and mm -hmm. people wanted to know about her. So mm -hmm. a couple months after Confessions was published, I started working on Elizabeth's story. And I got about 150 pages into it, and this other story just came out of the blue. And you're going to think I'm crazy <laughs> when I tell you this, but the main character, Daphne Schneider, got in my head, and she wouldn't get out until the story was written. It's complete fiction, mm -hmm. but I would be woken up at night, and it would be 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'd have to go out to my laptop and bang out a chapter because she would keep me awake. And you're <laughs> going to call the people in the white coats probably, but <laughs> I never no. knew what was going to happen mm -hmm. until I read it on the screen in front of me. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure that real, you know, like famous authors have a plan. They think of an idea for a book and then they probably plot it out. I had no idea what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Things would happen and I'd say, oh, I never saw that coming. Mm -hmm. I, it, the book is uh, over 400 pages and it was written in less than five months. It wow. just wrote itself. Wow. So, and you're talking about Fat Chance yes. right now, your latest yes. book. So actually, though, I think that that's a gift, Patty, to be able to just have everything just come out of you and go onto the paper. Yeah. I mean, I wrote it, but I feel like... I don't know, it's really hard to describe because it makes me sound like a lunatic, but <laughs> no, I didn't know what was going to happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There, are, there are twists in the plot that I never saw coming, and it, it's just really exciting. I'm really proud of it. I'm proud of Confessions, too, mm -hmm. but you know, this is my latest book, and mm -hmm. so I think Fat Chance is even better than Confessions was. Now, in Confessions, Patty, it was hilarious. I, I mean, you have such a great sense of humor. And what I love about you is that it's like in confessions, when bad things happen, you would just have to laugh at yes. them. Is that kind of what happened in Fat Chance as yes. well? Yes. The main character has a great sense of humor. It's kind of a crude sense of humor. <laughs> but for Daphne, things aren't worth doing if they're not fun. And so Daphne, has. A, she's a character who's been kind of overlooked and, and mistreated most of her life, even by people who supposedly love her. And when her Navy pilot husband retires, they move to the Florida Keys. And after a couple of years of kind of adjusting to island life, her best friend comes to visit, and that's when Daphne's world just completely crumbles. Mm -hmm. And she's tired of the way she's being treated, so she takes matters into her own hands, and she finds out that revenge is sweet. <laughs> and it's also addicting. And the dead bodies start piling up. Nice. This, yes. <laughs> this sounds a little suspenseful, Patty. <laughs> well, and so with Daphne, everything should be fun. Even murder should be fun. <laughs> and that's how Daphne is. She's, a, she's unlike any character I've ever thought of or read about. She is truly a unique woman. Well, that's awesome. And it's your own creation. So yes. I love it. Now, yes. in Confessions, that book was based on you. Yes. Daphne, though, isn't based on anyone you know. No, it's total fiction. Um, I think people will see parts of Daphne and relate to them. It, there's this struggle in the book where I think as a reader, you will, at times, you want to like her. 
and you want to sympathize with her. And then she does things that are so vile that you just can't stand her. And there's this push and pull through the entire book. Mm -hmm. And I'll be interested to see when it ends how readers feel about her. I know how I feel about her, mm -hmm. but I'm wondering, you know, with that tug, how people will end. Will they mm -hmm. like her or not? Mm -hmm. And it, that's funny because it sounds like, you know, people, we all can have certain people that are in our lives that are kind of like Daphne, where yes. you love them, but then like, sometimes they'll do something and you just think to yourself, what is this person doing? Exactly. And that's Daphne mm -hmm. to a T. She is just, she's unlike anybody I've ever known. Mm -hmm. And, well, she's unlike anyone I've ever known. <laughs> That's right, so we'll have to buy the book to find out more about her. This was just released. Yes. So I, I know that you're excited about Very. this. And you're already, though, with this just being released, you're already working on your next project. Yes, I am. I'm going back to Elizabeth's story that I started. Um, like I said, the, the readers just seem to latch on to her and they really wanted to know more about her she is a lovable character so I'm writing Elizabeth's story and it is called not without me hat because Elizabeth never went anywhere without a ridiculously large <laughs> grandiose hat so great well Patty it looks like you're having fun with your writing and this is something it. that was fairly new to you too yes I didn't plan to ever be an author and kind of like with fat chance Confessions sort of wrote itself, but that was, you know, that was me. That was my stories from my past. So it's different in a way. Whereas, you know, Fat Chance is all fiction, mm -hmm. and um, I'm having a great time with it. I love it. Good, good. Well, that's what matters too. If you're having fun, if you're smiling, then you're going to make other people smile. Yeah, but that's the whole point. It. I, you know, you have two choices in life. You can cry about things or you can laugh about them. I choose to laugh about them and hopefully the, you know, the books will give people laughter. I like that. I like laughing over crying, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Patty, thank you so much for being on this morning and if you want to pick up Fat Chance, you can buy it on Amazon, right? Yes, and um, in 10 days, two weeks, it'll also be available in paperback on pattylavelle.com and also through Amazon. Great. Thank you again, Patty, and I look forward to having you back on to talk about your next creation. Thank you for having me back. <laughs> of course. There's much more to come this morning. Stay with me.